Hi, this is Lance Wilkins, and welcome to this QuickBooks training video. Today we're going to look at a couple of new features in QuickBooks 2011. Specifically, we're going to look at creating invoices in batches, so that if you have multiple customers that need the same charge, you don't have to create those invoices one by one. And then we're going to take a quick look at the Collection Center. So let's start with batch invoicing. Batch invoicing is available off of the Customers pull-down menu. And right down here it says Create Batch Invoices. So I'm going to select that. And it gives me a little informational message there. And that's going to pull up this window for Batch Invoice. Okay. A couple of things I'm going to do here. The first thing I'm going to do, since this is the first time I've done it in this file, is I'm going to create a billing group. That's going to make this process even easier in the future. So I'm going to click on the little... Uh, down arrow here and I'm going to select add new then I'm going to name my group and I'm just going to call this maintenance group so here's a group of customers that I need to charge on a regular basis I'm going to say monthly some kind of a maintenance fee for some kind of service that I'm doing alright so there's my group now uh, what customers belong to that group? Well, I'm just going to pick the first, uh, let's just say in the interest of time here, I'm going to pick about five customers right off the list. Of course, in reality, you would uh, probably pick more than that, and they would be scattered throughout your list. But this will give you an idea how this works. Okay, so here's my list. Now I'm going to say Save Group. So this is my maintenance group, and there are my customers. So that's step one. I'm going to click on Next, and this is then the invoice that I want to create for this group of customers. So to make this simple, I just have a maintenance fee item. It costs $50. Um, I'm going to uh, leave it at that. That's, this is the invoice that I want to create. Now, that's pretty simple. Uh, if there was a different template I wanted to use, I could select that. There are a couple of other little things I could do here, but you notice there's really not much information, and that's because the information from the customer file is going to fill out everything else. Once I've said this is what I want to charge that group of customers for, all I have to do is hit the Next button. And then QuickBooks gives me a list of the customers that uh, are going to receive that invoice. This is the group that I picked. Now you notice in uh, this uh, series of customers here and in this series of columns, if I look over here in the Terms column, it's not the same for everyone. And that's because that information pulls from the customer file. Whatever I had set up for those individual customers, that's what the invoice is going to show. All these customers in the customer file, their preferred send method is email. If I had selected some of those customers and their preferred send method was print, that's what would show here. And all these invoices will be marked either print or email or whatever is set up for that particular customer. Same thing with sales tax rates. Of course, this um, uh, there's no tax on this item because it's a service item. And all these sales tax rates happen to be the same. But if I had customers set up with different sales tax rates, their individual rates would show here. So it's really handy. I can just say this one item, and I want to charge this to all the customers. But wherever those customers are, and with those little identifying things that are particular to those individual customers, I'm going to get that information on those invoices. And I just collect, uh, click on the button to create invoices and then they are all created and they are waiting in the batch to either be printed or be sent however you know in this case they are all ready to be emailed or to be sent uh, if they had been printed they would be ready to print and I can just do that in a batch so that's it those invoices are created so you can see how much easier that will be coming along the second time as I won't have to select the customers I'll just say I want the maintenance group and then I'll create my invoice so very handy feature the other thing I want to point out is available in the Customer Center, and that is the new Collections Center that's in QuickBooks 2011. And I get this to pull up here. 
There we go. And there's this button right here, Collection Center. If I click on that, then QuickBooks looks through all of the transactions for all my customers, and it picks out those invoices that are overdue. And here is the list of customers. You see I've got, uh, what, five there. And in the different columns, different information, so the amount that's due, how many days that invoice is overdue, telephone number is there if I'm going to contact them by phone, little icon here if I want to include uh, some notes. And it's usually a good idea. Uh, it's a good practice to uh, document the attempts that you've made at collection. So if we call them today, we probably want to put that in a note so that you know we have reference to that and what they told us when we call them a week or two later uh, if it's still unpaid. Now, if I'd rather do email, since I have, let's see, I have Brian Cook highlighted, I could click on this select and send email button and it would enable me to send a, an email to Brian Cook. As long as his email address is in his uh, customer file, then it's going to pull up and I'm going to be able to specify what I want to say and send a reminder email to him. The one thing I would caution you about using this feature is that QuickBooks can't automatically go in and apply customer credits to these balances. So for instance, if this Pretel Real Estate here, first on the list, if there were a customer credit in the file, perhaps they had prepaid something months before for, and let's just say it was $2,500, they really wouldn't owe this $2,239. But QuickBooks wouldn't know that unless that credit was applied to that invoice. So you want to be sure that you keep up with that process and be sure that your customers don't have credits sitting out there that have not been applied to invoices. You want to do that first and then when you come here then these numbers will be accurate and you will be able to um, really uh, help and streamline your collection efforts by using this new uh, collection center in uh, QuickBooks 2011. So I hope that's helpful. That's uh, just one of a number of new features in QuickBooks 2011, and we have a number of other videos documenting the others as well. Thanks.